All right, we're ready to get started here. Do I have to keep my mask on? No, you don't have to. Okay, so. yeah, so I can't breathe. <laughs> we're joined by Delaware Guard, Jules Smalls, and Jules, your team able to play, pull away in the fourth quarter, a couple of big threes from you in that quarter. What was the difference over the last 10 minutes? Um, I would say the big difference from the last for the last two minutes, I would say actually it started before that. I think when Coach A, uh, we had a timeout, I'm not sure if Coach A called it or if the other team called it, but she was just like, everybody calm down. We're okay, you know, just be us, play Delaware basketball. And from there, we all just calmed down and we just took off. Try let me ask you a question. Go along with the uh the way you're able to do in the fourth quarter. You had a stretch there in the second quarter. The game was tight. Yeah, I think you had 11 points in about four minutes. Do you like coming off the bench and being the one that kind of provides the spark? Um, <laughs> I was, I mean, yes. I like whatever role I'm to put in, I just want to be the best me. Whatever my team needs from me, I just want to be the best I can be. It's exciting, you know, when my team has put so much trust in me to come in and hit shots. It, it's exciting. I love the energy here. How about, uh, obviously, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Ken. Hey, Jewel, um, you know, that three-point shot of yours has uh, come in handy, uh, you know, a couple times uh, <laughs> this year. Uh, you know, what 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 was it about uh, today's game and about today's situation, you know, that allowed you to, uh, you know, drain that thing a few times? Um, I would just say trust. You know, my coaching staff, they, they really trust me to hit shots. And so does my teammates. They really believe in me to hit shots. So when I miss one, they're like, Joe, you got the next one. Don't even worry about it. So I'm just like, okay. They said, let it fly. I just let it fly. <laughs> does that does that give you confidence because they yes. have that approach with you? <laughs> definitely, definitely. When it goes in, everybody's cheering. So it's exciting. It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, Kind of just talk about the uh, timeout that uh, Coach Adair had in the third quarter. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? Now? Yeah. Could you kind of talk about the uh, timeout that Coach A had in the third quarter with about five minutes ago when uh, UNCW went on that 6-0 run to go up by six? Kind of just talk about what she told you guys in the huddle. Um, she just was like, relax, you know, just relax. Calm down, you guys. We're okay. Just we play Delaware basketball. That's really what she was saying. But honestly, for me, it was very calming. I was like, dang, like, she right. <laughs> we all were pressure like this is a pressure game but if the, within the game it's already pressure so we need to take release that pressure and just calm down and from there it was like okay and I was like oh, okay thank god we're okay and I was like yeah you're right coach <laughs> Joe how hard is it when talking about this, when you're the one beat and you're coming in and playing a team that's already been out there yesterday feeling good is there any added pressure to take a while to settle down um Hmm. I would say from every team, because we played so well so far, everybody's gunning for us. So it's a, it brings pressure, but, you know, we're, we're capable of handling it. So we're just, you know, as long as we play our, our game and play basketball the way we play, I think we'll be okay. Sam, Patrick, you guys have any help? All right, Jill, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, first, I want to start, and you, you know, and, and my hat goes off to Barefoot and Karen Barefoot and her team. I mean, they have been just playing relentless. Um, coming in, they had won five games in a row and, and just playing really, really well. And so we knew today, uh, again, we had to be on. We're, they're very different from, from when we played them last. And, and so um, they're scoring the ball inside, you know, they're scoring the ball on the perimeter. And, and I think, you know, they were just really gelling. And, and so we were focused about things that we needed to do. We talked to the team about just making sure on the defensive end, we, we, take, care of the, we, we take care of it and get stops. We wanna make sure we rebound the ball and, and very proud of our rebounding effort today. And just finishing, you know, I, I thought early we were, I think there were jitters. I mean, it, it's CA tournament, right? It, it's, it's the time of year that you live for. Um, but throughout the game, whether it be runs, um, different score changes, lead changes, we, we settled down. And, and you heard Jules say it, we played Delaware basketball. So I'm just really proud of our effort. But 
uh, it was a hard fought game. And this time of year, you're going to get everyone's best. Uh, and so we knew, we knew, we knew we had a battle on our hands, but we fought to the end. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Natasha, congratulations. Nice going. Uh, it sounds, it sounds like you had some magic words, uh, <laughs> during that timeout, but it also sounds like it was pretty simple. Just a matter of, Hey, you know, just calm down a little bit. Was that kind of the theme of what you said to them? Well, absolutely. You know, th th they want it, you know, this group wants it and, and they're checking off boxes. And you could just see it in, in their face, right? You could see just, just the, I don't know, if the anxiety or nervousness, whatever it may be. And so just in the timeout, I just said, everyone just calm down. Um, let's get back to Delaware basketball. We've been here. We know what to do. We're prepared. You're prepared. So just kind of going around the room, looking them in their eye and, and saying, you know, next play. Don't put pressure on this game more than it already is. And, you know, you have to know your group as a head coach. You have to know what buttons to push. And this is a group that you can talk to. You can give them tangible goals and you can encourage them to go out there and do what they've been doing all season. Thanks, coach. Hey, coach. Uh, good to talk to you. Congrats on the win. Kind of talk about the, um, the play, the response you guys had in the fourth quarter. I mean, down the stretch, it just seems like your team is just locked in. So kind of Kind of touch on the fourth quarter your team had thoughts on that. Well, fourth quarter, we just challenged them. You know, we said it was winning time and we needed winning plays. And I thought there were big plays. You know, I have to call out T. Johnson. She had a really good second half spark for us uh, from a defensive effort. I thought that we just were way more patient against the zone uh, down the stretch. We got key stops. We, we kind of collapsed inside a little bit uh, on Carol Ann. And so we, we, we were just more locked in. You know, it, it was winning time and to go 21-6 in the fourth, uh, that lets me know that we were really focused uh, and, and we were just trying to figure out whatever we needed to do to finish the game on a strong note in, in advance. Natasha, you guys are been number one in the country in offensive rebound. You had 24 of them today, 28 extra shots on a day when you mm -hmm. don't shoot the ball as well right. as you normally would. Three quarters. How big is that? It's huge, you know, and, and we talk about being number one in the country in, in offensive rebounds, and that's what we do. When the ball's not falling, obviously, on that first shot and our field goal percentage isn't where we wanted it to be, we have to get those second and third opportunities. And I felt like early we weren't as active, and so we challenged them uh, in, in, at halftime that we have to get our goal. Our goal every game is 40 plus, um, and, and we're very intentional about that. And, and I didn't know what it was. Uh, obviously during the game, but I knew at the end we, we did our job by really crashing and putting pressure on our guards to crash too. So we were small throughout the game because Lizzie O'Leary was in foul trouble. And so we really challenged when we had that smaller lineup, our guards have to get in the mix. And so I was very proud of our effort. Can you talk a little bit about Zool's performance in the lift? I know she said it other times this year, but the lift gave the off the bench and those threes sort of thing that really gets you rolling there in the fourth quarter. She's she's big shot. Um, she is. And, and she's right. Everyone knows it. We have confidence in her. We trust her. There are certain plays that we'll call and we know it's for her um, against the zone. You saw her kind of cut through and pop in the deep corner. And it's funny. I have to get on the group because they will watch her shoot. And I said, you have to assume the miss. And they said, it's Jewel. I said, assume, you know, assume the miss. But to hear that and to know that as a player, but to also know that your, your teammates, your coaches, believe in you and, and just to be able to have that confidence in those moments. I mean, there have been big shots that she's made throughout the season. And so just to have kind of that weapon um, in addition to so many others, uh, we're really excited about. Hey coach, real quick, could you kind of just talk about, we haven't talked since uh, the, the, pre, the awards came out this week. Could, could you kind of just touch briefly on uh, the awards that your team won with yourself, Jasmine, and then Ty Battle and Ty Skinner? Well, let, let's start with uh, Jasmine Dickey. You know, she has been just our, our leader uh, on and off the court all season. Very proud of her, but I want to take it back further for her and, and why I feel like she was so deserving this year. You know, her freshman year was seven points per game, sophomore year, 12 points per game, and then now to get to 23 points per game. That just lets you know who she is. She works tirelessly. You know, when, when you don't, when the lights aren't on, the cameras aren't on, she's in the gym. And uh, I, I'm very proud of her, not just that because she's scoring the ball and, and, and we kind of put it in her hands and 
we go as she goes, but just her leadership. She's one of the, the best teammates ever. She wants to make other people around her better. And so I, I just feel like she's so deserving of this. And, and thank you to the coaches the, you know, in, in the conference to vote, vote for her. Um, Ty Battle. <laughs> Ty Battle has just been consistent for us from day one. And Kenny Battle, her dad, will say that, you know, she got everything from him. Um, I, she will argue that point, but uh, she just, she's consistent. And we're just really proud. Double, 16 double doubles, um, you know, third, I think third in the country right now. And, and just to be recognized again by the coaches in this league for her contribution. Uh, we laughed because, you know, she, she caught... <laughs> one of our assistant coaches, our associate head coach, Sarah Jenkins, got on her and she said, see, coach, I play defense because she also got made the uh, all-conference de defensive team. So that was just another another plug for her. Uh, and then the, the little firecracker, Ty Skinner. I mean, her nickname is Showtime and she's just getting started. And so for her to be recognized as, as you know, one of the, the younger players in the league, but up, up and coming star, uh, third leading scorer on our team, just as a freshman, she's fearless. And, and you guys have seen that on, on many occasions, uh, but just really proud. And, and you know, I, I'm humble when it comes to any, any recognition for myself. And, you know, that coach of the year award for me is, is for my staff, is for my players, is for this program. You know, I'm sitting here, obviously, and I, I am the head coach and the leader, but I wouldn't be here without all of the great people around me. And so that award goes to, to them as well. And, and just very grateful for, to the coaches in this league um, that, that thought that I, you know, uh, deserve that. So just really proud of it, but really proud of my players. All right, Thanks, Thanks coach. Thank you. I'm just looking to see what